fatigue, isolation, remoteness, and fear. From a technical point of view, these are survival stresses. From your point of view, they are obstacles you must avoid, overcome, or be prepared to withstand if you want to live. And to complicate matters, here are a few more. These stresses can occur in all environments to a greater or lesser degree. The Arctic, the desert, in the tropics, and on water. So let's take a look at you, the individual. A very complex creation. You are different from all others mentally and emotionally, but physically just about the same. When your body is supplied with the essentials of life, growth and repair processes function normally, and sufficient energy is created to enable you to perform efficiently. But when the body is deprived of even one of the essentials, water for example, your physical and mental capabilities decrease, and eventually, if corrective measures are not taken, this. Something to consider, isn't it? But perhaps you're not concerned right now because you're fairly well off. And that where you are, life is pretty good. So let's take you from your comfortable environment to another one. One not so comfortable. And try to make the point that way. This is the desert. No one can deny its fantastic beauty. And no one can deny that men have died here alone through ignorance. Ignorance not only of practical measures to take, but ignorance of how much stress their bodies could endure. Sometimes they discovered this too late. If he had taken the trouble to find out, he would have known that it might kill him. Don't let ignorance of survival stresses be your mistake. It's the biggest one you can make.